I was teaching sometimes 44 classes a week, if you can imagine. I was teaching everybody that you'd ever want to teach, from Madonna to Michael Jackson to on and on and on, chili peppers, everybody. And I, my ego was getting very big. I was walking down the red carpet with openings of movies. I would be behind stage in concerts. I was called the guru to the stars. This was 25 years ago. And I thought I was fancy, fancy. I was making a lot of money, and I'd never made any money before. And I was like 50 years old. And one day, Yogi Bhajan saw me in Los Angeles. And he said, what's wrong with you? He said, you don't have any aura left. And then he said, you will come to New Mexico with me, which is our mother center, tomorrow. Well, my first thought was, I can't go to New Mexico. He doesn't know all the people I'm teaching, and my ego was so big that I just wasn't going to go. But I knew in a bigger heart way I had to go. So I went there. And I thought he was going to make me some guru. I thought he was going to give me the position that he had or something, fantasy. I got there with him, and he said, report to the gardener. And I still thought the gardener was going to give me flowers or something. And the gardener said, he was a little uncomfortable. He said, um, you will turn the soil around 108 plum trees. And it was very hard soil. It was going into winter so that they could capture the water. You'll do that in the morning. And then in the afternoon, you'll rake leaves. You know rake leaves? So, because I believed my teacher, I did it for two weeks. And he would drive up the long road, and he would get out of his car with maybe the governor of New Mexico or the Indian ambassador. He had lots of friends like that. And he would stop, and he would introduce, and he'd say, this is the great guru to the stars. And I would be, I had a garbage bag on because it was raining, and I had no raincoat, so I made a hole, and I'm raking the leaves and putting them in a cloth, and it was, and so in two weeks, he never talked to me. And then he called me and he said, you're fixed. Go back to L.A., but you'll never teach a private again. So then I thought, oh, no, I have to tell all these people that I can't teach them anymore. They didn't care. You know what they said? Who can take your place? And I realized very quickly that people of that caliber, they have a gardener, they have a cook, they have a yoga teacher, and if they have to get a new cook, who cares? New yoga teacher, who cares? And so it was very good for me. And he said, you will never charge money for private. So now I counsel people, do all of that, but I never, I just get paid for teaching these kind of classes. And he saved my soul. He saved me. Because if I had gone there without him coming in, I would, who knows, I probably would be dead. He saved me from my ego. And that's why I love him so, and I love the teachings. So then I went back to the yoga center and to serving and cooking dinner on Sunday night for all the students. I went back to my old ways. I didn't even travel like I do now. And then little by little, I started traveling until I have this whole beautiful, beautiful world. That's why when people come up and they want to be consoled, I don't say, well, sign up, it's $100 or whatever. I just say, what can I do? And I might not have been that way if it hadn't been for him. So I feel very, very, very blessed.